Hey guys, today's video is a haul video and it's things that I got from Dollar Tree and the Target Dollar Spot. Welcome back to Ria's World of Ideas. If you are new to my channel, I am Ria, and on my channel, I love sharing all the ideas that I find helpful in my life and home, and hopefully you'll find them helpful in your life and home as well. So if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave this video, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're always notified on all the new videos that I put out. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it so that I'm able to bring more videos for you in the future that you would like. So with all that being said, let's just jump into today's video, which is a haul video. And it's Target and Dollar Tree because I just wanted to put it all in one because I got a couple things from both. So let's start off with the Dollar Tree things first. So one of the things that I was super excited to find, I seen somebody haul it and I was hoping to find it in my store. And I did, but I only found, uh, they only had four left. They had two black ones and two white ones, but the white ones were really beat up and really chipped. And even though I plan to repaint these, um, it just it was just too big up to me but they're just these candle holders and they feel like the kind of like the ceramic type of material um, and it feels like it has kind of like that matte paint already but like I said I'm going to make these over so stay tuned I'm gonna um, DIY these but I like these because they have the indentions for the candles and I just feel like you can do so many DIYs with this or you can keep it as is and just use them um, to hold your candles or different decor items now, Dollar Tree has a new craft section in all their stores, and I've seen so many people haul it, and I never thought it was going to come to my store, because normally all that nice stuff that people get in their Targets, I mean, their Dollar Trees, I never see them in mine, even though I have like four or five in my area, but they did bring it to one of my stores, this huge um, craft section, and within that, within that craft section, they have a new brand called Crafter Square, so all that stuff is called Crafter Square, so I'm going to share with you a bunch of wood things that I saw in that section, a bunch of different craft things that I saw in that section. Now, there was a lot of things that I didn't purchase. I did take pictures for you guys um, of things in Dollar Tree and in Target that I found that I thought was wonderful that I thought you guys might like. So stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll just have the, um, the pictures playing in a slideshow so you guys can see all the things that are in Target, and, Target Dollar Spot and Dollar Tree that I didn't purchase, but I think that you guys might want to check out. So they had a bunch of these like wooden signs, these wood words. And so I got the one that said hello. They had a bunch of different ones like this. Um, and so I got the, I got one, actually I got two that said hello because I feel like I could use this for everyday decor, but you can also use it for fall. So, um, of course I'm thinking about a fall DIY. I could do hello fall or hello autumn. Um, I haven't come up with one yet, but stay tuned. I'm going to do something with that. So I like the size of hello. I love the wording, the detail, the, um, the font on this. So I definitely picked up two of those. The other one I picked up was the one that said home and I only picked up one because I have a bunch of things already at the, my house that say home, but I just like the font of this and I couldn't pass it up to do a DIY with this. So I picked these up. They also have that I recently saw yesterday. They have the word, the wood words, but they're on like a stand as well. They're a little bit smaller than those. Um, I didn't pick those up because I didn't have an idea for a DIY and I don't want to go so crazy and buy things for nothing, but they do have the ones that already have a stand to them if you would like that. And I think it said, family um live laugh love like that type of stuff and it also said um the home and the faith and all that, all of those different words that, that you would see but they have it on a stand another thing that i purchased that i was seeing everybody buy that i wanted to find and i found one was these little wooden crates now from what i'm seeing i think somebody else hauled it where they didn't have like the star all i could find was the one that had the star imprint but some people uh were sharing some other ones they looked way different than this one and it looked kind of bigger but i'm not sure if if it was, if they do have something different, but this is the only one I saw in my store. And the size is pretty small, but I knew that I couldn't pass it up because when you find these little wooden trays, there's so many possibilities that you can do with it, especially with it being wood because you can easily stain it and do so many things as opposed to getting something else and having to redo it. Another little wood piece that I got was this little house. And um, it looked to me like a little house, but now that I'm looking at it, I think it's supposed to be an arrow. So because it has the like the little... Uh, Yes, I think it is supposed to be an arrow because they had a bunch of other arrows. They had an arrow like this and a thin arrow. So I'm guessing this was supposed to be an arrow. But when I first saw it, to me, it looked like a little house. And so I already have a DIY in mind to make with this. Um, so either or, you can use this as a little house and create a DIY. Or you can use it 
as an arrow and created a DIY as well with that. And this is pretty thick wood. I like it. Another one that I was super excited to find because I feel like you could do so many back to school and teacher gifts with this one is this wood cut out apple that has, it's kind of like the um, pumpkin one I shared with you guys during the fall time, which I still haven't done a DIY with that because I can't think of what I'm going to do. But this one is the apple. And uh, unlike the pumpkin, the pumpkin had like a different design on each side. One had like a hollow. It was like a pumpkin with like hollow pieces missing and then it was like a full pumpkin on the side. This just has the same apple on both sides and I think this would be great like a pencil holder or a pen holder for a teacher. So you could definitely pick this up and add the teacher's name or do some type of back to school teacher gift. I feel like this is just amazing to do a teacher gift so I couldn't pass it up. I had to pick it up. And oh and some other things that I found in that crafter section where they have so many different paint brushes so many new paint brushes that i'm excited to try because they look like these are going to be better quality than the ones i picked up before and so the ones that look like they're going to be really good quality are these right here and they had two different styles this one came with three and it's more detailed and it's a three-piece set and i mean like more detail like fine tip like a fine tip and this one had more like of a square tip um yeah, more like a square tip and it's a little bit thicker so you get two with this one that's a little bit thicker and then three with this so i can't i'm excited to try these to make sure um, i'm excited to try them to see if they work and they are as good as i think they might be because they look different than the other ones that dollar tree had and then of course i had to pick up my little chunky brushes because you guys know that when i do that dry brushing that you guys see me doing so many of my diys when it comes to the farmhouse look when i do that aged wood dry brushing i love using these paint brushes so i had to pick up three more because i ran out Another thing that they had in that craft section that I was super excited to find and I can't wait to use it is chalkboard paint. And the only one I saw was in black, but I'm, so, I'm excited to make this because you can do so many things with chalkboard paint. You could turn anything into a countdown or any type of you know chalkboard that you need for whatever reason, especially if you have kids and you want to have um, things written down. You can make a, um, a command center with, chalk, with this chalkboard paint and do different things in the command center. I mean, the possibilities with this paint are endless. So I'm excited to use this and see if it works really well. Also in that section is the, well also in that section is Mod Podge. I had to pick up some more of that. Um, this is not in that section, but it's in the tool section, but it's wood glue. But you guys know that I use it for a lot of my craft, craft projects. And I told you guys I wanted to try to see if it worked just as good as the, um, the Elmer's one. And it does. I've been doing a lot of the DIY projects for you guys lately with this wood glue. And I purchased four more of these because I did like how, I did like the consistency of it and it does work well. So I picked up more. So some other stuff I picked up at Dollar Tree that I saw that was new were these LED LED pillar candles. Um, L, um, Dollar Tree always has these light up pillar LED light up pillar candles, but they're a little bit fatter. These are thinner. I only found the ones that were kind of beige. I wish I would have found the ones that were all white because I like those. Um, but the beige can be used for the fall. I feel because you know beige. I mean fall has that kind of beige orangey color. So I picked up two of these to add into my um, fall tablescape, which I'm gonna be sharing with you guys soon. And but yeah, I just like this one because normally you just see the fat ones that are a little bit shorter So it's good to see that we found a Dollar Tree version that is a little bit taller because I know a lot of DIYers were taking the two fat ones and stacking them on top of each other and having to put like a ribbon or something to cover it So that it didn't look like two candles stacked up on top of each other So the fact that we have a bigger taller version um, now at Dollar Tree is amazing So definitely look out for those if you want them Another thing I picked up in kind of like the crap well not the craft section kind of like the house where like glass and picture frames is this little glass um i don't know this little vase i guess i picked up two of these because i have to do something in my tablescape my um dining room tablescape that last year i did that i shared with you guys where i had the glass candle holders well i use those candle holders and to make my little my little stand right here so i need to go find some more and i've been to four dollar trees and i can't find those glass candle holders anywhere i think because the holiday season came back everybody is taking them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little um, vase and I'm just going to turn it up, upside down and I use this to be kind of like my um, to be kind of like my candle holder to um, create what I'm trying to create because I needed like kind of like a stand because I was going to do like the candle holder and then like a little lid on top to be kind of like the base of the candles that I need for um, my tablescape. So hopefully this works out and looks good. But either way, if it doesn't look if it doesn't look good, it doesn't look right the way I want it. I could definitely keep these and use these for my house, and I could definitely use these for farmhouse DIYs because this does look so farmhouse to me, especially if you paint this white and kind of do like that enamel look. These will be great, kind of like um, those milk bottle type things, or kind of like the old school back back in the day vases. So either way, if I don't use it for that, I'll find a use for them. Now there is. For Dollar Tree, the, there is two holiday items that I picked up. One was fall, one was Christmas. 
Um, and actually, I have a couple more this Christmas. I need to go find it because I, I don't see it here. But the only thing that I found that was for fall that I like this year is, because um, I've already bought other fall stuff, is I finally gave in and bought this Happy Harvest um, cup. Normally, I don't like to buy cups at Dollar Tree because I'm skeptical with the ones with the lids because they leak. But recently, I bought their water bottles that I shared with you guys, and I love them, and they've actually been doing pretty well. And this one seems like it has a good um, kind of twisty lid that will keep the liquids in instead of spilling all over me. So I decided to try it because I love the look of Happy, Far um, Happy Harvest. I love the fall colors. As y'all can see, I just got my nails done. I got it like in a fall um, kind of theme because I love the fall. So even if it doesn't work as far as like... Um, for the drinking purposes if it does leak i feel like i could use this for decor or even um in uh backgrounds in my photos for pictures for you guys if i'm doing some, some type of fall background so either or but i think this one is real cute they also had a red one that had like fall stains on it but it was too red for me i feel like that's more like christmasy so i didn't see it as the fall so i didn't purchase it um before i show you the christmas ones because i have to find i don't know where the other christmas things went i need to go look for it um but i saw this folder in the and the school supply section and this looks so christmas like to me when i saw this i instantly thought diy diy for christmas because as if you guys have been um watching me for a while last christmas i did like these pillows with this day with this same shape um for christmas time and so i feel like this can be definitely turned into a christmas decor piece or if you are doing that farmhouse look all year round and you kind of have like this kind of moose like look you can use that for um you can use it for every day but to me this looks more like a reindeer so stay tuned there's going to be a christmas DIY with this and then in the back is just plain so you could definitely take this back part and use it for any type of diy as well so i feel like with this folder you can get two good farmhouse style diys out of them and then in the health and beauty section i picked up this brush because it's that time of year again when it's getting cold and i start straining my daughter's hair again um, in the cold season and I felt I needed a brush that was kind of like this when I'm able to when I use a flat iron and um, when I'm flat ironing their hair I actually take like a comb or a brush and go with it so that it's kind of like combing it through and making it more straight so I wanted to try this brush I've used other things before but I've seen a lot of people use brushes like this to do it so um, I saw it at Dollar Tree and I was like let me give it a try okay so I found the rest of the ornaments they were in another bag but um, Dollar Tree already has brought out their Christmas stuff, um, so it's kind of like we have like Halloween stuff, we have fall stuff, and Christmas stuff all in one. And they have a lot of their repeat ornaments that I bought last year, so a lot of the stuff I didn't buy too many because, like I said, I've had, I bought them last year. But they did have some stuff new this year that I wanted to pick up, but it was only four items, um, and I want I'm really excited to do some DIY, DIYs with them. So the first ornament was this ornament right here, and I thought it was so cool. It's so big. And I thought this was a great price because normally if you see something like this in Target or Walmart, they would charge you like $5 or $7 for an ornament like this. And this was just a dollar. And it's like a big old like wooden wreath in the back. And then you got the little um, reindeer in the front, which these reindeers by themselves, everybody was, you know, taking them last year and doing so many DIYs with them. So the fact that you get like this wreath that a lot of people go crazy over, kind of like this wood wreath, and then the... The reindeer is already attached to it is amazing so i have a, i have a diy in mind already for this so stay tuned for this one but like i said this is a big size like the size of my hand this is a really good size great price for a dollar um and then another thing i picked up this year was and i think they had it last year but i didn't need it last year i picked up this um santa hat and some of them come in the plastic some of them don't um but i just got i grabbed the one with the plastic because i wanted mine to be more protected but it looks like this they also have another one in another different color but you guys know that i like that um this little um, red kind of plaid, I guess, yeah, plaid and gold, um, plaid, red, plaid, black and black and red and gold um, for Christmas time. So I have a DIY in mind for this. Most of the Dollar Tree ornaments that I get, I always turn them into DIYs and never use them for the actual ornaments. The last two ornaments that I got were some wood ornaments, and they had this type of style, and then they had another style that I took pictures for, uh, took pictures of it, so you guys can see at the end. And it was kind of like a Christmas gift tag, which was another thick piece of wood that I feel like you guys can do so many DIYs with it. I didn't pick it up because, like I said, I don't have an idea for it. But I did take pictures for you guys, so stay tuned at the end so you guys can see it. And they had, like, different styles of snowmen on them. But what I liked about this one was um, they come in, you know, green and red. But what I liked about it is that I don't necessarily like the style that's already in it, but they already have this galvanized metal right here. So, and then they have, you know, the, the plain back. So, automatically in my mind, I thought of I can make this over into my own. So, I'm definitely going to take these two and make them, in, you know, make them over into my own kind of like a farmhouse ornament. And I'm definitely going to use this piece in it to recreate it into my type of style. So, stay tuned for that. And then the last, 
Yes, the last thing at Dollar Tree that I found was the Him Himalayan pink salt. And um, everybody talks about how great this salt is, so I definitely when I saw it, I wanted to try it. And usually you just get like the little um, sh the, the little shaker containers, but they had a big bag, so I thought this was a good buy. So I'm definitely excited to check that out. So now let's go straight into the Target Dollar Spot. Now the Target Dollar Spot had a whole bunch of new things too as well. Um, and one of the signs that I loved that was three dollars was this one. And they had another one that was kind of like this, but it was like more of like a teal and gold. But it wasn't the teal that I like. It was kind of like a different type of teal color scheme that doesn't go with my house so I didn't get it but I do have pictures for you at the end but I love this one it's white and it says welcome and it's like that white and gold this definitely goes with the color schemes in my crap room and my office so I'm definitely going to use this as like the background that I use most of the time for you guys when I'm usually up there but right now I'm in my kitchen um, and then this one I saw that said hello fall I thought this was so cute and this is the I can't take off the plastic right now well let me see this one was also three dollars let me take this plastic off and they had another style of it as well I think it was white again I have the picture at the end but I like the style of this and it's wood um and it has like a hanging piece in the back but these are the colors that are in my bedroom and I already have pumpkins um from Dollar Tree that I bought to decorate my bedroom too so stay tuned that stay tuned for my house tour where you guys will see how I decorated but this is definitely going in my bedroom to go with the color scheme I have another thing that I found that I thought was so cute that a lot of people make on Instagram and on um and on YouTube but they had them for a dollar with these little um I don't even they're called wood Riser, Roger, Rogers, Richards, a risers. That look like a G. They're wood risers, and they are so cute. I think you can use them in any of your little uh, decor pieces to just add like a little elevation to them. So they had this plain wood. Um, they had the, in the plain wood, and they had it like kind of like a whitewash um, effect too. So I got one of each, and again, these were just a dollar. So I thought that was a good buy. Another thing that was a dollar were these these little signs. I can't talk today. Sorry, guys. I'm not getting tongue tied were these little wooden signs and they had a whole bunch of different ones um, but I just got these two this one says meet me at the pumpkin patch and then this one says just fall and the letters on this one kind of punch out this is great for like a tear tray or any type of tray that you want to decorate with because they're little um, little cute signs you can even take this little thing right here and add it there and put on a little you know tray tear sign whatever you like possibilities are endless or if you want, you can actually put magnets on the back and then put them on your refrigerators if you decorate your refrigerator. That would be a great idea too. I found another um, fabric pumpkin in that, you know, buffalo check pattern that I like. I didn't get, they had another one. They had two more there too. They had the um, kind of like the black and white pattern, but it was a thicker, the thicker print. I didn't like it, so I didn't, I didn't get it. Um, and they also have a bunch of different other color fabric, um, fabric pumpkins as well. But I just got one to go with the other one that I have right there there yeah right there so I just got another one so that they can have I like to have things in pairs um, and the last thing that I got at Target which I thought was a great buy they have been having so many things in these little packs that are a great buy was this one count banner and it comes with six I believe one two three four five no 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 there's no more than that let's see one two three four five six seven pumpkins and the pumpkins that they come with it are like they're two different sizes they have a large size and a small size and it's these pumpkins that have like three different like it's like the middle part punches out so they're like 3d so i think this is so amazing and i have i mean you can do so many diys with it at the end you will see i'm trying to open it so i can show you guys at the end you will see that i showed you they also have um i got the one that just had the plain but they also had them in a whitewash effect and they also had them already orange so you can get the ones that are already orange, you can get the ones that are already white, or you can get these plain ones like I did. You can keep them as a banner, or you could take them separate and do different types of things with them. But this is just, I feel like this is so great, and it was only $3. So for $3, you get seven of these wooden um, pumpkins that look like 3D pumpkins that you can do so many things with. They have these all these different sizes. And actually, as I'm looking at it, there are a bunch of different sizes on them. Yeah, okay, so they have, it's two sizes. It's this um, large one right here, and then the small one right here, which you can do so many things with it, or you can keep it as a banner, and it comes with this wooden twine, which is amazing as well. Um, so the possibilities for that are endless, and it was only $3. You get seven pumpkins for $3, and you can do so many DIYs with this. Just like I showed with you guys, I shared with you guys in my last Target haul, um, the, welcome, the welcome letters and the thankful letters that also came in a pack for $3. And you know what you know what letters would be a dollar each anywhere else, so that was a great buy. So definitely 
If you're in Target, check, check out their um, Target dollar spot and check out those little packs that they have because they are bringing great deals in here. You get so many wood pieces for just $3, so definitely check that out. So that is it for my haul today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, I was kind of tongue-tied. I'm trying to get through this video because I have a place to be as you can hear my phone going off. So I was trying to get through this video so I can get it up for you guys before Sunday so I could post it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below the things that you are finding at Target and Dollar Tree right now that you're loving. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. That's the way every day goes Looking back, I know we started falling We were falling in love, yeah Took my heart and you rolled off Was I feeling never enough for you, baby? When you left me chasing you Chasing you Trying to find a place Where we can be guys don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out and check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture have a great day